Great food fights. War, huh? What is it good for? Absolutely nothing, said again. Well, we could debate that one all night, but there have been many, and a bloody good thing too, I say, otherwise I'd be out of a job. Now, tonight we're going to be discussing and reliving some of food's darkest hours. In 1914, the Great War began. This was an era of experimentation, when a whole new array of weapons were tested upon the battleground. As our archive footage shows, these cheeses going over the top were met with gruesome new devices. Here, a charging stilton runs into the path of a fearsome flamethrower. His breed colleague can only look on in disbelief, oblivious to his own softening from the heat. How could cheeses do this to each other? Then the greats for which this war was remembered took over. These beer moth great tanks entered the fray and turned the killing fields of Northern Europe into what can only be described as a bloody pizza topping. Uh, yes, oh. Uh, nothing uh, saddens me more about war than when lovely sweet things are drawn into conflict. Something that happened during the desert storm in 1991. Innocent, calorific desserts, innocently minding their own innocent business, were randomly attacked by healthy fruits like pears, bananas, and limes. The SAS Special Air Sundays were mobilized in an effort to counter the attack, but it was too late. They too were mown down. What few survivors remained fell victim to the now infamous pineapple attack, or P bomb. Not one trifle survived. Mmm, mm. apart from this one, yummy. Now, real British ales and poncy gassy European lagers have long been at loggerheads, and things finally spilled over in 1337 in what has become known as the Hundred Beers War. Fighting this war. Heavy losses were sustained on both sides. Eventually, a UN peacekeeping force of Indian Cobra beer was sent in to try and restore calm, but it was too late. It was an horrific scene of utter devastation. Now, next week, we'll be delving even further back in time as we take a look at the War of the Roses and the Battle of Vindaloo. <laughs> Cheerio.